Okay, we are going to break down a LeBron James Eight, injury. As you see, Steph Curry comes across half court. He's going to take a floater and miss it. Curry Anthony Davis is going to get the, the rebound the here. Pass to Alex Caruso, who's going to find right LeBron Davis. in transition. Back to Caruso, James back to LeBron. And that is when Draymond Green James, takes him out, Draymond Green injuring him. Let him get a he is down in a heap. We don't know if he's going to be okay. He Playoff. looks to be in some discomfort. And James goes He's grabbing his eyes and his face. Down, um, holding his As you see, he pulls head. that left leg up. Um, this is very good for back support if you're going to be laying in that position. We know LeBron is a person who likes to sleep on his right side. So he pulls that leg up, supporting his back, knowing he's going to be on the ground here for the long haul. Next, as we follow this unfolding, LeBron believes that Draymond poked out both of his eyes and they're bleeding. So what is he going to do now is he will be checking his eyes for blood. Again, as you see multiple times, checking to see disgusting. if there's blood on his hands gushing out of his eyes. Uh, and we cannot confirm if there is or isn't. Now, next thing that happens is we have an arm switch. LeBron switches, covering his face, uh, protecting his eyes from the glare of the Staples Center lights, as well as the white socks here of Caldwell Pope, and especially Wes Matthews, whose socks are just firing right into his eye line. Now, something you see a lot in the world is people standing with their hands on their hips, here and here, but what you don't see is a lot of people who walk with their hands on their hips. And as, as you will see here when we play it, Alex Caruso, former runway model, walks all the way down the court with his hands on his hips. Now, this referee here doesn't realize what's going on and kind of walks right across the path as Alex Caruso is making his way down his own runway with his hands on his hips, ruining the shot. Um, Alex Caruso goes and tells his friends about how the ref ruined it. To the and here we have Frank LeBron Vogel James. breaking protocol. He's so upset. He knows LeBron will be stretchered off, and he is going to call a new play. Be um, and there it is. That was the play. Here in the background, um, we have a reporter wearing a mask. He is very happy that COVID hit because he has extreme halitosis. As you can see, he has um, five packs of gum here, and he has to breathe in his own halitosis every single breath. So what he does is he, he always had the gum here when it was non-masked to save Frank Vogel from getting the smell. But now he has to smell his own breath because his nose is trapped inside of his mask. So he just pops cinnamon and, and mint gum all game long um, to shield his own nose from the smell of his breath. You see the play again. It's a very head. dirty play. You see Le Draymond Green reaching forward for, Le for LeBron's face. Uh, not going straight up, going for LeBron's face. As you can see there, it looks to be his ring finger that's directly inside LeBron's eye, possibly touching part of his brain matter. You can't be sure from here. It's a little blurry, but it does appear as if he's touching brain matter. Then LeBron is at a very tough angle to land cleanly. So he's at a 45 degree angle. I know this is not a math video, but this is a 45 degree angle and it's not great for landing for human beings. Now LeBron comes down right on that ankle. It turns and his knee buckles. This is it's actually very dangerous. Because it will be but he immediately and grabs for his face. And as you see Let's here, Steve watch this. His this is impressive. Look at this All call right, by Steve. the referee. You know, they say being an NBA ref is very difficult. This guy was able to find the foul uh, on Draymond Green. Very impressive. That's why he's a playoff referee. Your thoughts on Draymond Green and that foul? Before we get flavor? to Steve Jabby, um, LeBron has woken up and he thinks he's sitting underneath his mama and he says, Mama! And she says, How are you feeling, LeBron? And he goes, Ma! And she says, You're going to be okay. Fortunately, back at the league office, it's mime day. So Steve Jabby is miming. Um, he's not using words. Steve Javi also is very happy about COVID. You may remember Steve Javi from other times when they've cut away from him and he was not ready. And he had a big old lip, AKA tobacco in his mouth, chewing it, spitting it. And you could see it in his teeth and in his lip. So he is very happy that COVID hits because now he can have his lippers in and nobody at home is any the wiser. 
So again, he's doing his best miming impression. And uh, we cut back to LeBron, who's getting up. Lost. LeBron is making it back to, to the court, Play he said. Well, James he will said, get I the can't see anything, bro. As you see I'm, here, I'm not... Draymond has a bit of a twitch going on on the side of his mouth. See that? Good. Again, he is Ripley, doing nothing uh, but yell and reading, run his mouth. You just said something about and That's all that Draymond does. If you don't know much about Draymond Green, Trouble I C. will fill you in. What he does is he runs his mouth and runs up and down the floor. That's it. He doesn't score. He doesn't rebound. He doesn't really do anything. He just runs up and down the floor running his yapper. Now, you know that he does that because his mouth is open, as you can see, so you know he's running his mouth, and you see that he does have some sweat here and here, and a little here and here where he's kind of losing his hair a little bit. There is some sweat in those little pockets there as he's starting to make the little U-shape, the U-shaped island that we, we all get when we get a little older, um, and there is sweat in all of those little crevices there. So you know he's running his mouth and he's running up and down the floor, and that is what Draymond Green does. He's now explaining to people that it wasn't a flagrant foul, even though the refs well, again, said it's not a flagrant Steve foul. Jab, he said it was um, he still fall, feels and that made it look like worse it's necessary it was, to apparently got prove it wasn't. Too. LeBron, LeBron at the free throw line. A contest There's no the way he can make this it was a contest because to the face. of the severity of the injury. As well. And he makes it. It's unbelievable. Tying the game with two minutes Ties to go. Look at that. He can barely see. Remaining. I've been there before, squinting my eyes just in case. Now I Mark Jackson is jumping on the hater hater I've train. Uh, LeBron has another tri triple double. Had a rough first half, but it has made huge plays here in the second half. A triple LeBron double. misses the second, throwing. This is the second. That that and extra we... down on the ground. We don't know his name. He probably doesn't have one. But LeBron needed retribution for what happened to him, so he threw that guy with no name down on the ground and then walks away. Draymond Green, the only one to help him up because gonna... Draymond knows, well, I did this to LeBron, so we knew he was going to take it out on someone. I'm sorry it was you, buddy, uh, but I'm glad it wasn't me. So 98 all, two minutes to go, and we go will see LeBron who wins James. the game. Jordan Poole did a good job. For...